First, let me get your take on the number itself, especially given that some of the high frequency data suggested an even greater acceleration than what consensus was was saying. Yes, it was a huge surprise. We thought it was going to be even stronger. Um, I think, though, that you always have to take every data release with a grain of salt. And I think this one you probably have to take with a rock of salt because adjusting for seasonal factors just plays such an enormous role in this. If you take the seasonally unadjusted number, you're over 1 million. And if you mechanically adjust these seasonally unadjusted numbers using just a sort of standard program, you get even stronger numbers. So basically, what happened here is that the Labor Department adjusted what they otherwise would have gotten because of the enormous decline in April 2020. And I'm not saying that they, that they got it wrong, but there's just a lot of uncertainty in terms of just how one should adjust these, these numbers for, for seasonal factors. So when I look at all of the other indicators that we're getting, other labor market indicators and other indicators of activity, whether they're uh, you know, standard indicators or more uh, high frequency real-time indicators, I think the economy is in a strong recovery and this report doesn't really change that, although obviously it was a huge disappointment just on the print. Right. When do you think those, um, those adjustments and the disparity between adjusted and non-adjusted uh, seasonally, when does that get uh, evened out? Would this be something that we get a clearer picture on next month, or do we have to wait until the fall or, so, or longer? It really depends on what exactly is going on. I don't think we can, we can say for sure. My expectation, though, would be that it probably takes a few months for these things to, to even themselves out. One possible story is that employers basically prioritize hiring on the back of the improving pandemic and some of the seasonal hiring that normally would take place and that the seasonal factors effectively expect did not take place in, uh, in April 2021. Maybe that was just deferred by, by a month or two. Maybe it's something that doesn't really happen this year because it's such an unusual year, in which case it you know these these distortions if they are distortions wouldn't really work themselves out until later in the year it's i think it's too early to tell what we can say i think is that this number is very at odds with a lot of the other indicators we get and therefore i think you should just put much less weight on it than you normally would to figure out what's going on in the economy shepherd smith here thanks for watching cnbc on youtube